Welcome back to Ralph's house. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. We had a lot of questions about our farm and what did he raise on the farm? Well, he had an apple orchard. Wait till you see what he raised. Picking apple time in the fall. Leaves are turning colors. We're going to go out there. And, you know, they had to get them apples up somehow. They had these big old buckets. And we're going to put a bucket in here. We've got to have a bucket sitting out there on the ground. Kind of sitting at an angle because the ground wasn't really level. Let's put no wooden bucket in here. Kind of establish where that's going to be. And they pile them apples in there. Probably had a lot of apples. And this is a special time of year. They're out there picking apples, and we're going to put, put a leaf on there for the apple. We probably got a couple of them laying on the ground. You know, they fall in the grass. We're just going to kind of make an apple there. Land down here. Get the leaf on there. We're just trying to establish some shapes here. Where would we want our apples? How would we want them to lay? We're going to pick them up. Special time in the mountains is apple picking time. Them old farmers know what to do with them apples now. Some of them do. It's a lot of fun. We're just going to draw with the brush. That's all we're doing. You see how big the brush is? This is very loose. We're going to keep this painting loose. Old wooden bucket had an edge around the top. We established that, but they had wood, wood slats. Just pull that brush sideways. Develop those wood slats. And as it gets drier, flip it over to the other side. Use all your brush. We're just going to make an old wooden bucket here. Kind of establish where the slats are. Every once in a while, we'll catch a, you know, you look at them old buckets. See how that kind of works there? Throw a dark line in there, especially pulling up from the bottom out of the grass. These buckets weren't designed to hold water, they were designed to carry apples. We didn't care if they leaked a little bit. You know, we got the old metal band that comes around it that held all that bucket together. That's going to work. Let's get that put where we want it. And so we got to work on where we kind of want everything to lay here. And I had an old handle on there. An old metal handle come around. Kind of make the old wooden part just roll that brick. Oh, that will kind of work, didn't it? Carry that handle off the other side of the picture. I'm going to cast a little shadow down here under it. I did have a shadow under it. Kind of bring the two together. Oh, how's that look? That kind of looks like that'll work for a quick drawing sketch here. Up here at the top, or it joined into the bucket. We need a wash. A lot of water in the paint this time. What we're going to do is get our shade going over here at the shadow side of this bucket. We do it thin enough, it didn't take out our other strokes. It left them all right there. So we can still see, and see the light sitting on that bucket from over there. Inside that bucket, we've got to establish where our dark place is. Light's not getting down in that bucket. That side of the apple, he's casting a shadow on that other apple. Behind that apple's going to be dark. Let's get them apples down in there. Back side of this apple, let's get him kind of shaped in here. That leaf there. Got an apple leaf. You know, the reason that bucket sit crooked, it ain't sitting on the kitchen table, it's out here in the grass. We got some grass up in here. Them apple trees, them trees didn't grow where you wanted them. They put apple trees where they couldn't do anything else. Not on good farmland, they're usually on the side of the hills. So we gotta throw some grass blades in here. And everything that you try, it's gotta sit on the ground, gotta be dark under here. That sun can't get under something, so it's always darkest at the base. And let's throw some little more grass in here. So we're just trying to develop a picture here. Apple picking time in the mountains. And it's a very special time. Everybody would get together, pick some apples, mama make some apple pies. But you know, you're sitting here, where did this apple come from? We are still out in the field. Probably some old gnarly apple tree, old base I was going up here. Kind of roll that brush and create the look of it. A little hard side apple. And a branch coming off here. Don't be afraid to roll that brush. Put your darks, your highlights in there. Now see, it's right at the base of this old apple tree. Again, we've got that grass down here. And this is what painting's all about. We're just trying to establish where the lights are coming from, and the darks, and the, where all these apples came from. We're just going to make us an old tree here. If you ever seen an apple tree, they kind of, they're not real tall trees, they just kind of meander everywhere. 
that start to look like a tree over there? You know, you got to ask the entertainment. Somebody's all, you all got art pretty kids somewhere everywhere, so you kind of got to <laughs> check on them out there. We'll get some grass at the base. By the way grass goes, less detail, so we'll just kind of push with a brush back in there. Let's give you something. Of course, one has a shadow, the tree's casting a shadow out here. There, is it kind of that tree on the ground there? I think so. Then you got your apple tree. You got your limbs. Your apple leaves are funny. They're kind of all bunched up like this. Don't be afraid to cut some apple leaves in there. Paint an apple or two. That's what we're out there picking these apples. Just roll that brush. Make it shape of an apple. Now, when an apple's on a tree, the shadow's going to be on the bottom of it. Does that kind of look like an apple? Give me a darker leaf out there. Make some apples hanging in here, different apples. This is what they were there for. We're going to pick up some apples today. Put some leaves out there, carry some limbs out there. This is kind of a and more different shades. And all we're doing is developing how we, how we want this kind of picture to work out. We're going to carry it around. You ever seen how the, all those old trees kind of have bites on them where the woodpecker picks on them? These one have them little bugs that are in there. So don't be afraid to make that old tree kind of hard shape. Let's get some shape in there. I'll arrange one up there off the back somewhere. leaves back in there. We had colors, we throw a whole lot of different things in here. We kind of get just throw some on there. Just keep working in washes. You can make it lighter or darker or whatever you want it to be. Guys, next time we're going to carry this a little bit farther. We'll throw some color in here and really bright this thing up. Come back and visit. Y'all come now.